Hello everybody and welcome to this new interview. Um, we have got Justina here um, and we are on a flex training day down at UK Detailing Academy in Sirencester in Gloucestershire and today I really wanted to talk to Justina because I'm sure many of you know who Justina is and what you do and you've seen her on the internet um, but I want to get a first hand account of your life in detail. Oh, okay. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, when did you start touching cars? Yeah, uh, 23 years ago, oh my god, in 1995, I start for, and I did all the first car. Wow, and that was uh, for, I'm guessing that was for pleasure rather than for, for work or? It was for work, it okay. was for, for work, it was my, my second, uh, second, second job and I start one day, one day. I. I Start with the flex and uh, some products, and I and I start on Saturday morning. I never forget this with the flex. Like how they hundred? Uh, like yes. Yeah. Oh, early hundred. Yeah, late hundred. Early hundred. Yes. Late nineties. Can imagine. Mm, no, my God. Four years. Uh, similarly old car. Yeah. Um, okay. So, um, I mean, obviously, you, you kind of learn how to detail at home, or how did you? I mean, you because you. As far as I know, you can't wake up one morning and suddenly be a professional detailer. There's a bit of a process, you have to look it's at some process. YouTube channels and stuff. Yeah, it's a process, but I started and I did the first car alone. Wow. And uh, in the evening, uh, my customer was happy and I, and I started to say, yes, I, I can do it. Okay. Uh, possibly not on this level where I am now, mm -hmm. uh, but from this time was, was, was okay. And you said it was your second job, what was your primary? It was a, uh, it was a car wash. It was a car wash? I was on and on, uh, on a car wash. Oh, I see. So yeah. you've got that kind of the experience of the more the more basic level of car yeah. wash, you would say. Yes. And did you, did you find a sort of strange like, costume where the car wash is always difficult about, you know, not scratching yes. paint and stuff? And in the yeah. detailing, but detailing was a secret place. You're kind of making your own customers, though, aren't you? If you scratch the car during the car wash, yeah, then you can detail it at night. Yes, and you have a customer, you know, it was, it was a win-win situation for, for <laughs> me. And uh, for me, it was a place uh, to, to, to back to my salon. Mm -hmm. Still, still. After days like this, I need to go to my studio. Mm -hmm. and you just have some, some it's me time. Peace and quiet. You and car time, I would imagine. Yes. Because you have some interesting cars as well. You, um, I've seen a photo and we'll flash one up on the screen if yeah. I can tease it. Um, you have a, what I thought was a Jeep Wrangler. Yes. Um, but it's an old one, so it's before the square light. What generation is that? 1979. Okay, so 79, 4.2 straight six, you were saying? Yes. And it's completely restored in black paint, um, lifted with big knobbly tires and yeah. stuff. Um, it's a proper sort of Baywatch vehicle by the looks of it. Um, and you live in Belgium at the moment? Yes, I live in Belgium. But you're from Poland? I'm from Poland. I'm born in Poland. Mm -hmm. In a small, small village in the mountains. Farm. Mm -hmm. And grow up uh, on a farm. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yes. yes. Gotcha. And in 93, I, I, I came to Belgium. Why? Uh, yeah, why? Right. The same, <laughs> same question when I start, oh, I start to detail cars. Uh, it, was, it was a holiday. It was a holiday. And from the first moment, it was the same feeling. It feels like home. Wow. Yeah. Oh. And I'm still there. And so you start from a detailing point of view. That started in Belgium and by the sounds of it. It was yes. 93. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so what point did you move from doing the car wash during the day and the detailing at night to just doing detailing? This was exactly 10 years ago. Okay. Exactly. So 10 years ago, so yes. in what, 2009 you became a professional full-time detailer? Yes, and a GB car detail was born. Gotcha. The pink uh, look GB car detail was born. So you've been working away as a detailer for, yes. for a decade and more. Um, yes. And uh, now, however, I would say in the last three years, you've sort of... Go on, huh? become famous and... and uh, yes, and uh, don't ask me how it's happened, <laughs> because I don't know. Uh, one day it was there, and more and more and more, and I start to, to travel again, from, from, from there to there, and, uh, and start to be interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, I suppose, I mean, how do you feel about women in the detail industry? Because there aren't many of them. Um, so you are quite, you know, there are, I, I think, in terms of getting it out there, I think it's really important that we try and yeah. have a bit more gender balance, should we say. 
Yes. Um, but do you feel, I mean, how do you feel in a, in a male dominated industry? Is that a problem for you? Is that yes, yes, for, for, for sure. The, the blondie in, in a men's uh, like business sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. And how do you battle that? It's fighting. <laughs> Just punch them. <laughs> Just punch them. Yes. Yeah, it's already doing it. So I'm, I'm here, I'm professional. Mm -hmm, exactly. Yeah, and I think I think that is important in the industry is, is to see um, that professionalism work through across yeah. different things. I mean, you're working, you're working obviously at the moment as a brand ambassador for Flex or a uh, trainer. Yes. How would you describe yourself as? Uh, a trainer ambassador. Uh, yeah. And that takes you everywhere. That takes you uh, America, uh, China, uh, Russia. You say. Uh, not yet. But oh, you were, you were on the screen. There was a big Russian show. Yeah, but I, I was on the other wall. I was there. <laughs> but not there in person. <laughs> no, in person, no. And um, so you are sent all over by Flex, and you obviously come into contact with lots of detailers all over yes. the world who probably have their own way of doing things. Where do you feel the detailing skill set is the highest? I mean, obviously, you spent a day here. The level or right? detail? The level, I mean. yeah, the standard of workmanship, should we say. Uh, workmanship. This moment, um, Norway. 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 East, Poland. Okay. Poland, Czechia, Czechia. Yeah, yeah. That's where you feel that there's a the greatest skill set. It's my my feeling. Uh, Holland starts to be on a high level. Mm -hmm. uh, in Holland, you, you find some good, 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 good details. And what, what about um, the little UK? Where we stand in the pecking order. Uh, it's. Uh, Growing. Growing. That's, yes. that's a diplomatic answer. Are we better than America? That's what matters. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it's folks, we've got some work to do. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, and where do you find, in, in terms of, how, you learn obviously how to detail, mostly self-taught by the sounds of it, um, and where do you feel most compatible? Because in certain countries they do things very differently from other countries, from what I've heard, in terms of methodology, in terms of the equipment they use. You mean how, how they work? Yeah. The how, difference between... Yeah, the difference between the different countries. So you're saying in, in Poland, yes. we spent some time before the camera in Poland, they're big on spending a very, very long time going uh, very... Too long, too ready. long, too long time. You, you, if you don't like uh, uh, money, then you can spend a mm -hmm. uh, long time. They spend too, too long time, too, too much, too much details. Uh, Whereas the level is, 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 is high, maybe two. two. Yeah, so it's, it's always trying to do a concourse finish when it's actually just commercial yes, work. Yes. Knocking yeah, around. I do this too, but with some cars. Yeah. You need to find the, the way. When yes, when not. Mm -hmm. Independent customers, but not every time. Gotcha. It is impossible. You need to leave your, your, it is your business. And what you're saying, Norway is the best. Um, I want to break it now that I'm an eighth Norwegian, as it happens. Um, but what is what separates Norway from other countries? What 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 makes them the best in your view? I don't I don't I don't, I don't have exactly answer of this, but I uh, their detailing was the first first growing mm -hmm. and on a higher level. Okay, so it's the high end detailing that's had longer to develop there, perhaps yeah. than other yeah. places. Yeah, other places, yeah. That's cool. And where do you enjoy most being? That's a different question from where's the best. But where of all your trips that you've had to do, it's been such a tough life, been yes. you know, ferried around on, on flex expenses. Yeah. What country, when they say, look, Justina, we need you to go to country X, which one makes you happiest? England. We oui. win something. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously. Yeah, in yes. oh, okay. yes. Okay, no, yes, that's... It's, it's a cowboy style, but... but I, I I feel very well. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, that was, that's it's almost convincing as well. I, I sleep well. I, I feel well. I, I eat well. Mm -hmm. The weather is nice. Uh, I enjoy. The weather. Well, is nice. You know the England. This this England here we're talking about, not yeah, New England. Yeah. 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 No. <laughs> when I'm here, the sun is shining. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Got the weather. Um, so, in terms of the detailing industry, yeah. uh, where do you think the development is going? Obviously, from Flex. The uh, big movement is into cordless polishing machines. Yeah, for sure, yes. Um, from other manufacturers, things like uh, synthetic wool pads are coming back into fashion. Yes, they're coming, um, coming back. What other trends are you seeing that you think are going to be, that are going to grow? I mean, for example, ceramic coatings, that, you know, all the rage for the last five, six, seven years. Do you think ceramic coatings are going to be around forever and ever? Or do you think people will go back to waxing or polymer sealants or something else? Mm. 
it will be growing, but the wax will be staying. Mm -hmm. The wax, the wax will be staying. I don't have idea how how it will be going with the with the coatings. Uh, I don't know. I don't have idea. The polishing. Uh, I'm now behind the brand mm -hmm. because we have a system, a color system, easy for for detailers. Uh, the polishes are tested with with pads together. Yes. It, it makes sense. It seems to be right. I mean, uh, the other, no other one companies brand are doing it. No yeah. one brand uh, uh, tests the polish uh, with the pad. I suppose directly to the pad. I mean, they all yes. have this. repairs have different coloured systems. Yeah. Flex have the systems. Yes. Um, what's interesting, I'm seeing more and more now, is that Flex, you make your own pads now, don't you? Yeah. Um, am I right on that? I, I remember we were we went over to Germany last year. Yes. And we were talking about pad technology. Yes. Um, and I think. You know, you start off as a machine manufacturer. I remember the story before it was even called yeah. Flex, and it was an angle grinder. And apparently, in Germany, you go into a shop and you say, "I want an angle grinder." They say, "Oh, you want a Flex?" Yeah. Um, it's like if you go into a car dealership and say, "I want, you know, the best car," and they'll provide you with a, a Subaru. So, um, the uh, idea that you're a manufacturer of hardware now you're doing pads, you're doing compounds, yeah. and you're also obviously training people yeah. on on your cars and, and, and on the paint types and using that equipment. Yes. And bear in mind the Flex don't just do car polishing, they do all sorts of things. They make giraffes, for example, I've read about it, it's bizarre. Um, and, um, no, honestly, look up, Flex yeah. giraffes, you'll see what you mean. Um, and um, so, you're, you know, you're, it's more of a holistic approach to the industry yes. now. Yes. Um, do you think that is, uh, you know, that's obviously a competitive advantage for Flex, is that we won't just sell you a machine, we'll sell you the pad, the training, and all these different aspects of it. Yeah. Do you see, um, you know, do you see that as a way forward? The way forward, yes, yeah. yes, 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 for sure. I suppose it keeps you in, 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 in a job with it, so. uh, yeah, yeah, the, the, the Flex is in my heart. Uh, uh, what was the first Flex you used? I need the hope. The short one. The short one. We have her, her agent just behind the cameras here. Yes. So what is the Flex, the short one? This is the PEA minus 14. PEA dash 14. Yeah, this one. Which and one? still working. Yeah? Oh, the very, the very same machine? Yes. Have you had to change brushes or anything like that? No, nothing. It's still there and work every day. That's impressive, isn't it? wash my pads. Wow. Oh, it's a pad washing device. It's <laughs> been demoted. <laughs> <laughs> Not allowed to touch car with that. No, no more. That's, that's still working, yes. So, looking at the future, um, what do you hope to see in the coming years? Do I mean, are you hoping to do more travelling and training, or do you like to go back to Belgium and, and with JB and just do the detailing? What's where do you envisage your career going from here? Uh, that is that is uh, that is a good question. Uh, uh, I don't like to leave uh, uh, GB, but I like to find a way between. Okay. Between the brands uh, uh, now, uh, between GB, uh, me, and, and traveling, yes, and I like to, uh, to give just uh, my experience to people. I'm ready now. Mm -hmm. Some years ago, no. Uh, secrets. Nice. Now, uh, now I like to give my experience to, to people. Start, yeah. uh, yes, share, start, share, that share this and, yeah. and, and make the life easier. Do you have product changes? I, I, I saw there were some uh, of the guys who are here today you know, yes. coming back to do some more training later sort of thing. Yes. Um, so are you starting to kind of have that it's rather satisfying experience of bringing somebody up from here and sort of getting yes. their skills right up? Yeah, just do it right and, uh, from, from the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, it's helpful. helpful for them. I like to have some like Flex Academies uh, mm -hmm. that I can uh, I test products, right? I test so many products. Now I form uh, my brands, mm -hmm. and now I can uh, I can grow it together, and I can give the I can give this to the people. I see. I see. Because I make the test, they don't need to do this more. So talking of people, who is your or was your hero detailer when you were learning? When you were going up there, who did you go on the internet and watch? Who did you... My father was Larry Casilla, yes, of course. Larry Casilla? Yes. Larry Casilla is real. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, to be fair, we interviewed Larry uh, a while back in one of the magazines. Yes. And he's very friendly. We've interviewed yeah. quite a lot of people at all different levels. And Larry is definitely... Yeah. Um, yeah, he's he's definitely my, my favourite. Well, you know what? He also he owns a Subaru Outback, as it happens. So, um, oh, you know, okay. that's a sign of a good person. Um, and uh, so you've got that. And then in terms of other products, and obviously you don't have to answer flex to everything. Consider open, he's not actually listening. No, no. What's your favorite wax? Uh, uh, my favorite uh, uh, wax, uh, 
dit is Vonix. Vonix. Van Brazil. Van Brazil, yes. Yes, yeah, I know the people. Uh, the owner of this brand is. Mm. And I, I, like, I like the people behind this brand. Yes, yes. We and have, it's a story. It's a story behind this brand. There is. They actually have yes. their own farm for growing the carnauba. Um, you'll know in issue 8 we did an article with kind of a big. A uh, plethora of kind of different things about uh, carnauba facts you didn't know. Like it takes ten years for a carnauba tree to be ready for, for extracting yeah. carnauba, and then you have to wait another ten years to do it again. So it's quite impressive. And the difference between T1 and T3, where it comes from the fronds, and so these guys grow the trees as well as make the wax, which I don't think anybody else can claim. No, I don't no. know anyone else who does that. But this is what I what I like. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I think you need even flex. I mean, they don't have the actual compound trees that where you get the compound off the. So that's your favorite wax, um, and obviously your favorite machine is going to be a flex. Is there a particular model? What, 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 what is your favorite? I know a detailer is always going to say, well, I have to be able to use all the machines in the armory, so I don't have a favorite. But then if you sneak up behind them quietly when they don't think you're there, you'll find them gently fondling their favorite machine, be that. You know, yes. If you see me 23 years, the same machine, the same brand. It's the same brand, so, but the so actual model. What, what model? If you had one machine, if they said, right, you can only like keep the one rotary, The rotary. The rotary. The rotary, for sure, the rotary. Give me the rotary and I did all the car. Mm -hmm. yeah. And actually, that is a, a commonality you notice with a lot of more experienced detailers, is that they always yeah. say, um, yes, there's a place for a DA, and I like using DA for certain things, but a rotary um, is always going to beat um, yes. that much. Yes, sure. Speaking of DAs, little birdie told me, um, anybody who, who knows anything about machines will know what the VRG is, or in flex speak, the XC. Um, little Birdie told me there might be a new one coming. In fact, Little Birdie told me that one landed uh, in the UK yesterday uh, with your colleague Stuart, who's been oh. got on security yeah. detail with it. Wow. Yeah. Oh, you know more than that. Oh, okay. Oh. That's annoying. I can't get any gossip out of you then. So, um, when, when are we, this, if it, do you have any, any intel on when it might be coming and we might be able to get it and play with it? Uh, yes, and uh, you can see me with playing with this machine at Waxstock. At Waxstock. Well, you heard it here first, 21st of July at the Rico in Coventry. Be there, we keep on saying that, but there's a good reason behind that. So you'll yeah. have the XC, you'll be playing with your XC at Waxstock in front of everybody. Yes. Um, and I'm guessing, have you already used that for testing and stuff like that? Yes, so. yes, at SEMA show. And what, in your opinion, how does it, because the VRG has been out since 2006. Yes. So what is, does the new machine bring um, to the, because to the, if the machine's been out for 13 years, it's going to be good, and we all know the VRG yeah. is good. Well, how is the new one better? The sound, sound, um, uh, vibration, mm -hmm. so, yeah, yeah, for sure. And in terms of power, is there any difference? And power, power is the same, you know, okay. the same power, but you, the sound is, is, is it's nice because the current one it yeah, makes yes. kind of a certain noise that is characteristic yeah, no, of it. Now, now it's quite a, uh, a vibration for sure. And am I right thinking it might be a cordless version? A cordless, I, I, I tried the cordless. Oh, you tried the cordless? Yes. yes. Um, and that's... Uh, that's powerful, it was yeah. nice. I was two, two hours with this tool and I'm, I'm happy. Yes. That's not so, um, well, I think that's about come to the end here, but you will be coming back to the UK for Waxstock. Yes. Are there any other events in the UK that you've got planned? Mm, not, uh, not yet. Not uh, uh, I go to Malta and uh, Spain, of course, with my other brand, but I'm... Uh, uh, Suiza. Suiza. Yeah. Uh, Suiza brand. Uh, I bring two people together, two cowboys, uh, uh, leather painting and a polishing system. And I'm between, uh, and I bring these two guys together. Mm -hmm. And it makes super strong. We are, we are, we are nice people. Yeah. We are normal. We like to bring easy systems. Uh, good price, good quality. Uh, and easy, easy, much easier work, mm -hmm. much easier with two professionals, super professional. I'm, I'm just a user of this brand. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, and that, you, that brand is coming to Waxstock as well, isn't it? Yes. So that's been pretty cool. Yeah, another yes. reason. Things I could edit before Waxstock, isn't it? Really. Yeah, yeah, and the owner will be there. He don't like it. He need to be there. This brand is, uh, is, is going and uh, helps, uh, helps not just me. What I always like to ask is, obviously you're an experienced detailer, and you've had four days now in the UK, so you started yes. in Scotland with Angel Wax, 
Yes. You then had a nice drive down through the Lake Country, or the Lake District oh, rather. Yes. And I think did Penrith and Carlisle and that sort of thing by the sounds of it, yeah. and, and Kendall maybe. Um, and then you came down to Coventry, so that, that was probably um, fun um, compared to the Lake District. Um, and okay. that was at the iBox with Slim's Detailing. Yes. And then you've been training here today at the UK yeah. Detailing Academy. And a lot of experienced detailers say the way, uh, the time I know when I want to give up is when I stop learning something. So they're always learning things. Even if you're teaching, you're still learning. Still so, learning. surprise question, what have you learned over the last four days reference detail? What I? Yeah, what, have you picked up anything from training people or talking to other people? Is there anything new that you thought, oh, that's a good idea? Mm. <laughs> Now, now it looks like. Uh, I mean, is there anything that you see that they do in, in, in England that you haven't, or Scotland, that you haven't seen being done before, or you thought actually that's. It maybe, thing. maybe, maybe, maybe not, but but it's not so important. Uh, the people, the people, the details, and I, uh, because it was not my trip, mm -hmm. and everyone was enthusiastic, and they 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 give me so. A nice feeling, yes. and it it is maybe much more important if I learn something or not. Yeah. But the feeling, the energy, and and the, and the cowboy cell, whatever. Uh, but it was for me the one of the nicest trips. That's really good to hear. Yeah. That's really good to hear. So um, I think I'll wrap it up there. Okay. But thank you very much for your time. And um, as I say, make sure you get to Waxdock. If you're at Waxdock, yes. come and say hi to the team. Waxdock, I'm with the. <laughs> um, she'll be the girl. So <laughs> that's all right. Yeah. To be fair, um, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that's not useful. There you go. He's one. Because yeah. oh, yeah. if it's two, then it's yeah. difficult to sync them. Cool. Okay, that's done. That is all good, I think. Oh, I didn't press record. No. No. <laughs> you just no. I can't. 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 I